Hey guys, Luke here. So today I'm here to tell you why I think Thanos would need six Infinity Stones to wipe out half of all life in the universe. I mean life, I mean as in like live things. Okay, live moving things, not like solitary plants or anything, just live moving things. So um so let's go through each of the six stones and see why he would need them. First of all, let's start off with the obvious stone, the power stone. That also would need to use the power stone so he could be powerful enough to wipe up fifty percent of all living and moving creatures. It's just logistic. He needs to have the power stone. He needs to be powerful enough to do it. He can't just, you know, do it just by himself. No, he needs the power stone. Um, he also... Now, the time stone is a bit tricky because I, I think the reason why Thanos needs the time stone is to give him enough time to wipe out 50% of all living things. Because he can't just, you know, it would, it would take a very long, it takes a very long time. So he needs the time stone to give him enough time to wipe out fifty percent of all living things. That's why he needs the time stone. Um, he needs the space stone so that he can wipe out fifty percent of everything living in space. Well, the Avengers universe version of space. So he needs the space stone so he can detect fifty percent of people living that aren't dead living in planets within space so he can, you know, wipe out 50% of them. Now, he needs the mind so to detect, to detect the minds of each of those people and see which ones, um, you know, can fade away. Because when they always fade away, they fade away head first, not body first, which is where their soul is. Their soul is, you know, their heart, you know. They die head first, which means the mind stone is detecting which of these people are going to get, you know, turned to dust. The soul stone he needs so that when they are dusted, their souls can go to the soul world after they've died. Makes sense. Now, which ones have I missed? Reality. Soul, mind, time, reality, power, and soul, mind, time. Oh, I'm trying to think of which of the six minutes. Soul, mind, time, power, reality, and space. Okay, I've got one more. One more. That is the. Reality stone. Now he needs the rest stone so that it's real. He's it's not a fantasy, he's not you know, make he's not, you know, using the reality stone to make, you know, this thing fake like he did when he switched the thing those, you know, two realities on uh nowhere and Titan in Avengers of the War. He needs the reality stone so that it, it, it he making sure that it is real. This is really happening. So that's why I think Thanos needs all six Infinity Stones because if he wouldn't be able to do it if he had like two, three, four, or five of them. One is not enough. He needs all six to wipe out half the universe because one of them is this. Also having all six is essential for him doing it. And that's why I think he needed all six. Anyway, if you um think why do you think my explanation? So what explanation do you have? Thanos having all six, do you think is the same as mine? Do you think um, you could have done it with less? Comment below in, in the comment section down below. Um, please like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, anyway, um, that's all I've got to do today about Thanos. I will see you guys later. Peace.